What's going on guys, it's James Ford Outdoors <clears throat> and today I'm going to be cooking some jambalaya on the bank. Um, I'm going to be going to grab my boat here in a second and I'm going to be heading out to the lake. I'm going to do a little bit of fishing. If we catch a fish, throw it in the jambalaya, we'll just see what happens. So you're coming along with me and we're going to have a good time. First of all, after I pick up my boat, I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store, grab a few things for the jambalaya, get some gas, and then we'll be headed out to the boat ramp. And I don't know where I'm gonna cook on the bank just yet, but that's the fun of it. So we're gonna get out there and see what happens. catfish I think because I do have a catfish pole and I'm just gonna use shrimp and whatever I don't use I'm just gonna throw it in the jambalaya so it works out and then I gotta get gas and we'll be on our way All right, we're here. All right, I gotta grab some stuff, but this is the boat. It's pretty cool. I bought it about a year ago. It's got a 2022 Suzuki four stroke, 20 horsepower. Uh, I bought it with this deck built into it, which is Awesome, so I didn't have to do any work. We'll be cooking in a Dutch oven today. Got the groceries, jambalaya mix, pound of shrimp, two potatoes, and an onion. And I got a couple more things in the cooler. I got some seasonings, um, I got some bacon, jalapenos. Maybe a couple other things. We'll figure it out once we get cooking. Gotta have the tackle box. Extra jacket just in case. A couple of waters. Bring an extra boat prop because I had some issues last time. So just in case I'm bringing this. Another tackle bag. I'm gonna put my boots on because I don't know what I'm getting into today. <laughs> Last but not least, fishing pole. One last thing, life jacket. You gotta have your life jacket. I like this one because it's not big and bulky and I'm not a fan of wearing a life jacket. So I just put this on and I kind of forget that I even have one on so it's kind of nice. A lot of times, I forget the plug, and it's been bad. First time I ever bought this boat, it was a disaster. It was like the busiest day in summer, and every parking spot was full at the boat ramp, and I just got this boat. I went to put it in, forgot the plug, and I realized when I turned around, about half, half of the boat was sunk in the water. It got worse from there. I pulled the boat back up, drained the water out, hooked it back onto the trailer, backed it in the water again, and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't coming off the trailer. And then I realized that I forgot to unhook it from the front. 
So I kept bagging up and bagging up. And I backed up so far and then I unhooked it, got the boat off, and half my truck was in the water. And of course, I just got this truck. It's only two wheel drive. And I put my back two tires in way too far and got stuck and had to have some dude pull me out. And about 20 people watched. It was terrible. So now I know. Put the plug in. Make sure everything looks good. Oh, strap as well. Get your strap. There's definitely a much easier way I could have done that. But I got it in the water, so I guess that's all that matters. But yeah, the angle of the boat ramp here is very shallow, so it like wouldn't come off the trailer. And I almost sunk my boat. Uh, I almost sunk my boots, but I didn't. I got lucky. Right, I'll see you on the water. so I'm having some sort of motor trouble which is what I expected because I had this problem last time so if any of you know let me know in the comments below but pretty much what's happening is I put this new stainless steel prop on there and when I get to a full rpm it's like sputters and the check engine light flashes on and it's like not going full speed I don't know if it's not picking up enough water or what but I don't know I'm not sure if it's the new prop. I might put the aluminum one back on, which is what I brought, my old aluminum one, just to see. Now the pitch isn't that different, it's one degree, which it could throw it off, I'm not too sure. But that's that's the thing with having a boat, is there's always issues, it seems like, all the time. Even though this is pretty much a brand new motor. But, I mean, it's still running, so we're gonna get to where we're going. But it's not running at, full speed but it's still running fast enough to where I'm comfortable so the water level is a lot lower than I thought it was gonna be. I guess they haven't pumped it up since uh since the winter time yet. But I found this spot on the bank over here and I think that's where I'm gonna probably make a fire and cook the jambalaya. It looks pretty good. But I am gonna find a place to catch some catfish. So I'm thinking maybe just right out here, honestly. It looks pretty deep. We got we got a rock ledge right here. And I don't know, there should be a fish swimming around here somewhere. So I'm gonna try it right here and see what happens. Alright. So I'm gonna be using, you've probably seen this before, the chunky rig. It's that dude on TikTok. He like all he does is catch catfish and he's like use american eel yeah well anyways he was running a sale so i decided to buy it and try it out never tried it before um and i'm gonna be using shrimp so i don't even know if it's gonna work but i'm gonna try he claims it's the best best setup to use so i don't know we'll see what happens all right so i'm just gonna put shrimp on here so we'll see how it works so i'm just gonna I'm just gonna slide the shrimp on kind of the shape of the hook try to hide the hook best as possible I'm just gonna drop it down at the bottom I mean no need to cast I'm in the middle of the lake so we'll see what happens nothing too fancy today just just catfishing on the boat 
Um, I'll let you know if I catch anything. I didn't catch anything on that drift, so I'm gonna go boat back up and float back down one more time. And if nothing happens, then I'm just gonna get to cooking. I am getting bit. Well, it was just the bottom, so I'm gonna go start cooking some jambalaya. And I'm also gonna cast out from the bank where I'm cooking, so I might catch one as I'm cooking. All right, here we are. So I picked this spot right here, which seems pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna make a fire somewhere in this area and I'm gonna get to cooking. I'm thinking maybe by this log, I could sit on this log. Oh yeah, get a little fire going like right there. Boat over there. I think this is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna go collect more sticks and I'm gonna build the fire. Oh, Bill dance on a worm cup. Thought it was kind of funny. Also found a bobber. So I'm gonna keep that. Definitely probably reuse it sometime. So right on top of this log is a bunch of little baby sticks. So I might take some of this stuff and use it to start the fire. Just gonna take some of that right there. All right, this stuff is not burning too well. Not like I thought. It's all right. I got some of this grass stuff anyway, so we'll get it going. All right, fire's getting there. It is lit and it is not going out at this point. So we're gonna have fire, which is good. I'm gonna let this fire get going and I'm gonna go grab all my stuff. Holy crap, I caught a fish. I caught a fish. My, my rod started taking off. Hold on. Got a nice channel cat. I was not expecting that. I was getting stuff for my uh, jambalaya and then all of a sudden my rod fell over and I started reeling up and I got a fish. So we're making catfish jambalaya. Stay tuned. The catfish. Now what I'm going to do to get the skin off. Pretty simple. A lot of people have trouble. Pretty much you're just going to grab like the base of it. You're just going to put your knife under there. And you want to put it at an angle, kind of give it a little sideways movement. And also, you want to pull on the skin. Pretty much just like that. Skin's off. And you got a skinless fillet. Do the same thing for the other one. Boom, look at that. Two boneless, skinless catfish fillets. I'm gonna wash these off in the water. There we go. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and throw another piece of shrimp out there, see if I catch another one. All right, so this is what we're working with. We got Zatarans, blackened seasoning, cayenne pepper, black pepper, Old Bay garlic powder, uh, jambalaya mix, catfish, bacon, shrimp, jalapenos, habaneros, sweet onion, and two red potatoes. And pretty much, this is going to be a one pot meal. I'm just going to throw everything in there, stick it on there, put a little seasoning in there, and we'll see what happens. I might actually cook the catfish on like the lid maybe because i don't know how it'd be just throwing it in there with the mix but i'll figure that out in a second so i've cut up my bacon i'm gonna throw that in the pot first and then i'm gonna cut up the onion i usually just kind of keep them biggish chunks now it's not supposed to be pretty. It's just supposed to taste good. 
I need a stir stick. Use this one. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. Can't go wrong with a little pepper. And then, gonna add this. Ooh, I do need to season up my catfish. I think for this, I may just go with the blackeny. Call it a day on the blackeny. I used to work this job in the summer. This guy used to bring up uh, fresh shrimp from like Alabama or something. Mississippi and we'd sell them at farmers markets and it was amazing how many people asked how to cook shrimp and it's like it's not rocket science it's one of the easiest things you could ever do it's just I don't know I don't know what's wrong with people these days but it blew my mind it really did so I sliced up some jalapenos so I'm gonna throw those in there too Amanero, going in. That's okay. I'm about to pour the jambalaya mix in and then get some water and put it in there. I'm going to go ahead and pour some water in here. Oh, yeah, look at all that. That looks good without even jambalaya mix. Jambalaya mix in. All right, so I'm just gonna let this sit here and simmer a little bit. I had to get my fire going again because I was running out of coals. But I'm gonna let it do that for a little bit and then I'm gonna throw the shrimp in and cook the catfish on the lid. And we should be ready to eat. I just put the shrimp in. So I'm gonna let that cook down. I'm gonna get some of these coals and drag them over here and I'm gonna put the lid on there and start cooking the fish in a minute. So I was walking through the woods, you won't believe what I found. Campsite, or not campsite, where I'm cooking the jumble eyes right there. Look at this. A whole tackle box full of baits. I'll open it up and see what's inside. Looks like it's been out here a while. All right. Pretty good find right there. Well, about four, four or five crankbaits. Sweet, that's like 50 bucks right there. All right, so I'm gonna cook the catfish now. Got a little ash on there, but it's not gonna hurt anybody. It's coming together. Not quite ready, but it's getting there. I found my original stir stick. It was sitting right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that. Oh yeah. It should be good. I think my catfish is done. Jambalaya is still cooking down over there. I didn't bring a fork. But let's see how it is. Oh, it's hot. It's real hot. Mmm. Oh man. That is awesome. Wow. Honestly, I swear. I've cooked a lot of catfish. That right there might be 
One of the best ones I've ever cooked. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's like a perfect little appetizer too before the jambalaya. Man, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Got a fire going. Boat chilling over there. Great view. Great day out. I'm gonna go walk out to this flat out here. And just go walk around for a second. Check it out. It's awesome. Look at this dude. Huge mud flat. It's awesome. Nobody's out here today. We got some tracks right here. Not real sure. Maybe a deer. Looks like a deer, but I don't know why they're all in one single line. Huh. Let's see how we're looking. Try one of these shrimp. We got shrimp. Oh! I knew that was gonna happen. All right, let's try that again. I'm gonna try to be more careful this time. Oh my God, I dropped it again. I'm not doing that anymore. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Mmm. Oh man. That is awesome. Catfish and the shrimp have been amazing today. Usually it's a hit or miss. Ooh, look at that. A little jalapeno. That's gotta be good. Oh my god. Oh my god. The potatoes, potatoes aren't quite done, but that's all right. I'm not a huge potato fan, so I can eat around it right now. Look at that little little chunk of bacon, some rice. Oh my god. That truly is amazing. I mean, it's not every time I cook something that good, but every time I've made campfire jambalaya, oh my God, lost another shrimp. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. That's campfire jambalaya. I'm probably gonna, I don't know if I'll eat this here or take it with me. I might take it with me, honestly. Eat it back at home. Cause I'm running out of daylight and I gotta get back. Cause I don't wanna, I don't think my lights work on my boat right now. So, I might just take this with me, eat it at the house, or I might sit here and eat it, I don't know. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. This really is my first video. And it means a lot from each and every one of you that are watching. Cause I am trying to make this a normal thing because I like doing this stuff on my own time. I do this on my own time all the time. So all I really had to do is pick up a camera. And I hope you like it. I appreciate your support. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. Oh wait. I'm gonna start saying this in every video. You never know till you go. That's right. Because I never knew I was gonna catch a catfish. I didn't know how good this jambalaya was gonna be. I didn't know how good the catfish was gonna be. I didn't know which bank I was gonna be on. And it turned out to be a great day and I've enjoyed every second of it. So just remember, you never know till you go. See ya. <laughs>